animal adaptation to my adventures in Africa and the Amazon. This is a book to tell you about some of the animals I encountered on my trips to the Masai Mara Wildlife Reserve in Kenya, Africa, and to the Amazon rainforest in Peru, South America, where I encountered the most weird and wonderful animals I have ever seen. It is fascinating to learn about the ways in which these animals have adapted to their environment, and I would like to share some of these with you. So let's turn the page and get started. Animal adaptations can be physical or behavioural. The toucan has a very large bill, helping it stay cool in its hot environment. The bills are around 19 centimetres long, but surprisingly, they are actually very light. Hence, they are no use in fighting off predators. It is useful, however, as a feeding tool, enabling the birds to reach fruit and to skin their pickings. A lion's roar is used to communicate with other group members and warn intruders of their territorial boundaries. It can be heard as far as 8 kilometres away. The male lion's thick mane helps him appear larger and acts as protection for the throat. The lions have rough tongues assisting them to eat the meat they catch. The zebra has black and white stripes which help camouflage it from predators. When running in a herd, the stripes blur together, making it confusing for lion or hyena trying to attack. When they are scared, they act like horses, stamping, kicking and snorting. Zebra families migrate in herds of tens of thousands, making pathways for hundreds of millions of wildebeest and other animals to follow to new lands and food. The cheetah can outrun any land animal. It can get up to the speed of a car in just three strides and can run at a top speed of 113 kilometres per hour. This is faster than we are allowed to drive. They have very hard foot pads, helping them to grip the earth when they run, and their muscular tail helps them maintain balance when they turn quickly. The dark lines from a cheetah's eyes to mouth act like sunglasses, reducing glare. The cheetahs are not actually built for fighting. They have small teeth, a weak jaw, and they are not aggressive by nature. This means that if another more fierce animal decides to steal the cheetah's food, the cheetah has no choice but to retreat. The sloth is the slowest moving mammal in the world. Because they move so little, algae grows in their hair, which helps to camouflage them. Sloths can turn their heads nearly all the way around meaning that they can see predators all around them. They have big, strong, long claws which help them to hang onto trees, which is lucky as they spend most of their time hanging upside down from branches. The only time a sloth comes down from the tree is to go to the bathroom, and it is thought that they do this to leave a scent for potential mates. You might see elephants flapping their ears a lot, this is because when they flap their ears, their body temperature can drop by as much as 9 degrees, helpful in the hot African sun. Elephants have a huge trunk which they use for sucking up water and squirting into their mouth or even for spraying at an enemy. Their trunks are strong enough to pull up whole trees, but can also be used gently to pick up a small flower. Elephants make many different types of sounds to communicate, which can sound like rumbling, roaring, squealing and trumpeting. Elephants are very heavy. They can weigh up to 6,804 kilograms. The giraffe has the longest neck in the world, allowing it to reach for leaves high in the trees. Giraffes can grow to almost two stories.
storeys or 5.8 metres high. Its head would go straight through the ceiling in your house. Giraffes also have a very long tongue, 60 centimetres to be precise, and they use this to pull on branches and chew the leaves. Giraffes have to spread their legs far apart to bend down to drink water, and this is when they're most vulnerable to predators. Luckily, they are able to go for long periods without water. They also have a secret weapon, hooves that are the size of dinner plates, which can deliver a deadly kick. Sliding and gliding through the jungle and the waters of the mighty Amazon River, Anaconda are the heaviest snakes on earth, measuring up to 9 metres and weighing up to 250 kilograms. Their eyes and nostrils are positioned on the tops of their heads so that they can keep their bodies camouflaged underwater whilst they lie in wait for their prey. What fascinating creatures these animals are and how interesting it is to learn about the adaptations that help them to survive. One day I hope you too can make a trip to the Amazon rainforest or the African plains to see some of these incredible creatures in their natural habitat.